Hello and welcome to today's video on how to install and configure Windows Server 2012 R2 code. So for this demonstration, I'm using this Oracle VM VirtualBox and inside that already I created one virtual machine named Server 2012 R2 code. And already I mount the iOS image of Windows Server 2012 R2 Evolution Edition. So let's start the demonstration. First of all, you have to start the virtual machine. Once you start the virtual machine, after a few seconds, you will see the Windows Setup Console where you can select the language to install, time and currency format, and keyboard or input method. For this demonstration, we are going to use the default value and then click on Next. On Windows Setup, click on Install Now to start the installation process. After a few seconds, you will see the console where you can select the operating system which you want to install. Here we have a total 4 options available. By default selected options is Windows Server 2012 R2 Standard Evolution Edition with Server Core Installation. So when you install Windows Server 2012 R2, we can choose between the Server Core Installation and Server with GUI. The Server with GUI options is the Windows Server 2012 R2 equivalent of the full installation options available in Windows Server 2008 R2. Windows Server Core includes a minimal version of the server software without the GUI. You perform all the configuration tasks from the command prompt. So for this demonstration, we are going to install Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Evolution with Server Core installation. So now click on Next. On this console, you are asked to accept the license terms. Select the checkbox. I accept the license terms and then click on Next. On this console, we have options to select the installation type. Here we have a first options for upgrade, install Windows and keep files and settings and applications. And second, we have options for clean installation. Select Custom. Install Windows only for the clean installation. So for this demonstration, we are going to see the clean installation of Server 2012 R2 core. So that's why I'm going to select Custom Install Windows only. So in this console, you have to select the partition where you want to install the Windows. Right now, we do not have any partition. So let's create a new partition. Click on Apply and click on OK. This will create a one additional partition for system result 350 MB. And here we have another partition, partition 2, 99.7 GB. Select the partition. And then click on next. Take a little break while the installation proceeds. This takes some time, particularly when installing on a virtual machine and the computer will restart several times during the installation process. After 5 to 10 minutes, depending on your hardware, Windows restarts the last time and inform you that your password must be changed before logging on for the first time. Click on OK. Type and confirm a strong password, then hit enter. When it is informed that the password is changed, now click on OK. After a few seconds or so, the desktop appears containing a command windows but no start screen or desktop icons. This is the standard Windows Server Core interface. If you are going for initial configuration of Windows Server 2012 R2, that is a quick and easy way to configure your server by using sconfig.cmd command. So let's type sconfig and then hit enter key. Now you will see the sconfig utility opens to the server configuration screen with the menu of configuration options. So first of all, I'm going to configure the network settings so we can complete all other tasks which are mostly dependent on network connectivity. So select options 8 for network settings and uh, then hit enter. Now at network adapter settings, uh, here's our index number is 10. So select the network adapter index. It's uh, in our case, it's a 10. Then hit enter. Now here we have a certain options. Like here's about uh, NIC index number 10, description of your LAN adapter and the current IP address. Now if you want to set a network adapter address, that time you have to type 1, type 1 and then hit enter. It is ask us to select D for DHCP, S for static IP. For this demonstration, we are going to assign a static IP, that's why I'm going to type S, then hit enter. Now enter the static IP address, 192.168.49.11, hit enter. Now enter the subnet masks. The default subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. So enter for default subnet mask. Now enter the default gateway. In my case, it is 192.168.49.1. Now, as we are seeing, the IP address is set on our server core computer. It's 192.168.49.11. With the default mask and the default gateway will be 192.168.49.1. Now let's set the DNS address. So to set DNS server address, Type 2 and then hit enter. Now enter a new preferred DNS server. So 192.168.49.5. In my case, hit enter. It will give you a message. Preferred DNS server set. Click on OK. 
You will then be promoted to enter a secondary DNS server, type an address or just press enter if you don't want an alternate DNS server configured. I am going to press enter and skip putting a secondary DNS server. You will now see all your network settings configured as like this. Select options 4 to return to main menu. Ok, so on a server configuration. Now let's rename the server. Press options 2 for computer name. Enter a new computer name. Let's specify server 2k12 iPhone core. Enter. Now it is ask us to you must restart your computer to apply these changes. Restart now. Click on yes. After restart, again log into your server. Hit enter. Okay, once again, type as config. Add server configuration menu. Next we will set the date and time on this computer. To set a date and time, we have to press 9. Once you select these options, a date and time windows will open the same as it would in a GUI. Configure the settings to your needs and then click on OK. So for this demonstration, I am going to change my time zone. Let's select UTC plus 530. Click on OK and click on OK. As you can see, you can also activate windows. You can also join this computer to a domain. You can specify the windows update settings. You can also configure windows remote management which is enabled by default. You can also use as config to log off, shut down or restart your server. In the next video, we'll see how we can join a server core computer to a domain and then we'll see how we can manage remotely this server core. So that's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment. And if you like my videos, then don't forget to click on a like button.